I did have security with me. Oh, that. Um, yeah, I do have security with me all the time. I sometimes escape them and okay. don't tell them where I'm going. See, this is why they have heart attacks. To. Don't you feel the need just to run and just be hidden sometimes? It's not so much that I'm rebelling. It's just that I, quite honestly, will just leave the house and they'll be like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, but that's... How do you do that? Like, if you don't want to be, like, gagafied, if you want to just go shopping and have nobody recognize you, can you do that? I just don't ever not want to be myself, you know? Uh, I just, when I was in high school, I went to Sacred Heart. You mm-hmm. know Sacred Heart. Mm-hmm. When I was in school, I felt like I had no sense of identity and, like, I had no clue who I was. And when I left school, it became even worse because I just was like, I don't know who I am. I don't even know where I want to hang out. I don't know how I want to dress. I don't know. I don't know nothing because I've been in a uniform, mm-hmm. hanging out with a bunch of girls that make fun of me. So once I found all of it, and I said, "Wow, well, I want to wear those shoes, and I want to wear wigs, and I love writing this kind of music, and I don't want my parents to pay my rent. I want to, I want to do it myself." You know, once I found that person, it's like I just, I'll, I'll fight to the death for myself now because it, it really scarred me when I was younger. Do you we, ever hear from any of those people from high school? Um, yeah, I do. And how do you react to them now? I'm really nice and. Move forward. Yeah. You're better than me. I'd be like, you know what you can do. Well, why? <laughs> because I and would. what would that be? Right. <laughs> we should call back the sausage in here. <laughs> Gaga, we were just talking about your fans. You have over 40 million people on your Facebook fan page. And I notice you post something and you instantly get thousands of responses. And not all of them are positive. Do the negative ones still bug you in any way? Well, no. Uh, honestly, um, you know, all that negativity, it just comes along with what you do. And, I mean, let's be honest. It's not like I'm like a non-polarizing, you know, artist. I sort of ask for it. So it happens and you move on. Um, you know, one of the reasons I love coming to work is to get a paycheck. And I live paycheck to paycheck so I can afford to travel and travel anywhere I want to travel. Traveling. I love traveling. And the rumors have been that you you spend so much money in production and in, 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 in your uh, your look and your vibe uh, it, the rumors were. You, I love that you spend money on your vibe. on your vibe. <laughs> no, well, you know, Lady Gaga's vibe is very expensive. I don't know if you looked at the books. Hey, I mean, do you really spend so much money that you're not banking it, as the rumors are saying? Actually, you know what? I spend no money. The really? only thing I spend money on is the show. That's right. It. And um, uh, I'm not bankrupt, if that's what you're asking me. No. Um, but. Um, I really, it's, it's really funny because my, my business manager often calls me and he's like, did you lose your credit card? (laughs) Because you're not using your credit card. Yeah. He'll just be like, did you, did you shut it? Did you cut it up? Did you, did you, are you not using, did you lose it? And I'll just say, no, no, everything's fine. And he's like, because you don't spend any money. And I just, I just, you know, I just don't, I, to be honest, I just don't, I didn't get into this business for the money. I am really, really so happy making music. Well, see, this really proves a point. The point is you are so plugged into what you are doing. You are blinders on almost to the point as far as being focused on where you need to go and what you need to do with, with you, your career, well, your music, and, and your fans and feedback with your fans. The other stuff, traveling around and buying a Mercedes here in a house there, it has no importance to I you whatsoever. I live in the same apartment I did six years ago. Wow. Uh, it's my bedroom's about the size of this studio. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, the kitchen is about four feet away from that. <laughs> so it's a bitchin'. And, um, <laughs> right. you know, I, I don't have a... I mean, I, I was given a car as a gift um, by my manager, but I don't have a license, so it's more of a collector. That's such a New York thing. People don't understand. Yeah. New Yorkers really don't drive. I, mm-hmm. I don't drive, and not only that, I'm not sure I should be given a license. <laughs> have you ever driven a car? I No, I actually... One of my favorite moments ever that was captured is um, when I was living in L.A., the car um, was there with me. And right. I, without a license, you know, thinking no one would know because I was living in this sort of complex area, I used to just, without security, leave and drive, you know, uh, with a... I think I had a... I may have had a learner's permit. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think it had expired. But I would go alone in this car, and it was actually right after my first Grammy performance, so my hair was still gray right. from uh, being dumped in the oven. Yeah. So there's this photo of me with gray hair, like an old grandma, like really low in this car, <laughs> driving to a bodega in the middle of Bel Air by myself. And the caption was, um, Gaga scene with no license, driving a plateless 
car. Oh. Oh, my God. This isn't good. With gray hair. And I just, I thought it was fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just remember my friends from New York called me and they were like, honey, you have not changed a, a, a dime on a nickel. Should we trust you behind the wheel? Seriously, are you a good driver? I, no. No, okay. <laughs> oh, it's totally, uh, uh, Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's no good. It's no good. But I love what I do so much. I mean, even just to explain my outfit today, like. Explain is, your outfit to us. This is a really young designer. You know, and I wore it because I want to help promote young designers. Who is it? Who designed it? It's in the back. Okay. You can have to look. We're going to look. Well, I'll take my clothes off. Well, it looks like black duct tape is kind of like around your breast area. Then there's like a little lace area. It's beautiful, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's uh, it's something that Gaga. Lots of plastic. You can hear the plastic skirt. uh, These are stripped just from a stripper store, these gloves. Mm -hmm. And um, Stripper stores. uh, These shoes were. um, Oh, my God. Those are intense. Thank you. They were a gift uh, from uh, uh, Versace. Donatella has been really, really nice. She gave me the outfit for the Edge of Glory video, and that I have been dreaming of wearing that one warrior strapping outfit since I was 15 years old. And I just wanted to only be on a fire escape in that video for that whole time because I was so excited about that one outfit. Wow. Well, you know, we had the chance to go and see the Monster Ball, Elvis and I, which is nominated for five Emmys now on HBO. Can you believe and that? it was such a phenomenal show. I, you can actually see Elvis getting down with his bad self. You can see me. I'm on camera ja- He's jumping on around camera. But like for, an ape. <laughs> but for those of us who had the chance oh, to go and see that show. Oh, you mean for the HBO one? Oh, yeah. absolutely. He was, you, you totally get a shot. You don't him. have to pay me royalties or anything. I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh my God. You, know what's, you, you know what's so funny is that at, I don't even know if anyone's noticed this, but it's, it's like my personal favorite moment when I watched it I had no idea it was in there for us you know Paul, Paul, Paul McCartney came to the show that mm-hmm. night he's so nice I mean an absolute legend I like literally fell on the floor when, when he walked in wow. but for a split second at the end of the monster ball uh, 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 HBO special you see him like totally breaking it down with his entire family oh that is great and you can't really you, you wouldn't know like unless I told you what you just did but um <laughs> It, I just remember when I watched it and I was like, oh, sh-. I won't say it. I'm sorry. We're on the radio. But, oh, my God. I was so excited. And, um, um, yeah. So will you be going? Are you going to go to the to the Emmys? I if cut you, you off here. No, that's okay. Am I going to the Emmys? Yeah. Are you going to go? Uh, I, I plan to. I would love to go. Yeah. And also, what can we expect from the um, Born This Way tour? Oh, well, that is going to be a special affair. A very special affair. I know exactly what I want to do. I have all the ideas, all the performance pieces. Every single thing is worked out in my brain. I just got to build it. Awesome. Hell yeah, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring all those monsters with me. Please do. Get really dressed up. And it's Vegas. We'll go hit the, the Wheel of Fortune machines when we're done. Oh, yeah, I hope. I hope. Listen, I hope I don't. You'll find. They'll be like, "Where is she?" I'll be. I'll be. I'll be drunk underneath the slot machine. Like, just let me do one more. Yeah, I know. I don't have a problem. I don't have an addiction. I swear. There was three bananas in a row. I knew it. Awesome. Okay, and we have to do one embarrassing thing, then we'll let you go. Oh, great. Uh, last time you were on the phone with us, you said these words as we were talking about your famous meatballs. Yep. I would do anything to have one of your meatballs in my mouth. I'll make you meatballs. I just want one. That's all I want. I'll do it. Uh, now, do you mean my meatballs? <laughs> or your meatballs. meatballs. You were going to meet, bring meatballs Because I today. have a really impressive tuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you should receive some reward for that I, and award. I should I should get a sixth Emmy nomination for tucking. Actually, do you know what else is nominated? And I didn't get an, 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 an on the nomination because I didn't write it. I wrote one thing on it, but not really. Was um, the OK in the Three Way with Justin and Andy? Oh yeah, that's oh. right. You wrote it's that? Okay. No, I didn't write it. They wrote it. I only have had one contribution, and that was uh, during the helicopter. Um, I, uh, go, I I added, wow. <laughs> That's worth that something. Was, that, awesome. that was it, but, but I was wait. so excited that it was nominated. You're, you're skirting my meatball issue. You okay, were going to bring okay. me meatballs. Yeah. You're world-famous Lady Gaga meatballs. He's not going to let it go. You know what? I dropped it outside. There oh. were so many people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the recipe quickly, then you can leave. Um, you know what? I... What I will give you as a recipe. Yes, ma'am. Instead of the meatball recipe, because the secret really to the meatball recipe is the gravy. Okay. Mm. So what I will say is you should take Pomodoro tomatoes. Yes, ma'am. The ones that have long stems. Mm-hmm. You slice them in half and core them. Sear them in the pan. Let them reduce with salt and pepper. Uh, add in some star anise. Mm-hmm. 
then I used to call it star anus because I thought it was well, much more fun to say. Yeah. It, is, it is funner to say star star, star anus. Star anus. Go so ahead. add in some star anus. Mm-hmm. Don't use mine. <laughs> I was about to ask if I could borrow yours. I'm your neighbor. Uh, can I borrow? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, uh, then I uh, rip some fun some fennel. Mm-hmm. Um, I just tear it. I don't use any knives or anything other than to cut the tomatoes. And I put the fennel and let it all reduce. Uh, and then after it's gotten like really kind of pasty, it's kind of like a pasty sauce. Mm-hmm. Um, I put a ton of olive oil in it, and then throw in fresh thyme, basil, uh, a, a bay leaf, and I just smack garlic with my hand on the table to crush it, mm-hmm. um, and throw it in, and you just let it infuse in the in the oil, and then it's it's done. And then I am so hungry right now. I am starving. <laughs> my great. tail is awesome. wagging. That's the, that is my is my uh, is my recipe. Yum. But if you if you uh, put anything in it, any right. meat or anything after that, what, one of the tricks I will say for meatballs. Is is, uh, put a little bit of the sauce that you've made in the meatball mixture before you make it. Is that it. your secret? A little sauce in the mm. balls? Well, it's not so freaking secret anymore. No, I know. <laughs> well, we wanted you here for many reasons, but number one was the meatball in the sauce uh, recipe. So well, we, there we go. We've done our job. And next time I won't drop it on the way in. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Lady Gaga, and I've said, I said it this morning on the show, I'll say it again. Out of all the artists we've ever interviewed, there is such a connection with you. And of oh. course, well, you know, it, it, there's for so many reasons. We are, just like the rest of the world, so in love with you. And I love you. We adore you, and whatever we can ever do for you, you will let us know, and we'll be there for you. Just, you know what? Just keep having me to come over to talk about balls. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Lady Gaga! Yeah!